what's up y'all it's me i'm back okay so today's video is gonna be five things i wish i knew before i came to howard because i need to educate the youth i need to educate y'all y'all need to know what y'all getting yourself into before y'all attend the best hbcu ever period so this just reminded me in the comments on the past couple videos, i seen people comment and say, Oh my gosh, that sound you make with your mouth is so annoying. Wow, like, it's a force to happen, y'all. I'm sorry, I didn't, mean, I didn't mean to do it. Like, you know, you know when you did, do things subconsciously? Yeah, it was kind of like that. Like, going like... <coughs> so, I'm going to try not to do that anymore. And if I do, I'm going to try to check myself. So, okay, so I made a list so I don't go off topic. The first thing I'm going to talk about is having enough money for campus. When you come on as a freshman, it's going to be a lot of stuff you want to do, realistically. Y'all going to want to, there's a tattoo piercing shop. Y'all going to want to get y'all belly pierced, get a tattoo, blah, blah, blah. All that costs money, guys. It costs money. So I say before coming to campus, you need to have at least, I want to say at least three to five thousand dollars saved up in y'all checking account saving account cash however y'all have it at least because welcome week is gonna cost money right welcome week is when they have all those parties in the beginning of the semester y'all gonna want to enjoy that that costs money um door dashing ubering everywhere money and them ubers add up trust me because freshman year i was ubering everywhere and that started that money started creeping back up on me so ubering door dashing going out you're going to want to go to brunch with your friends bins all in places urban roasts that costs money too it adds up going out on u street so y'all get the the gist y'all need to have money because being a freshman is expensive Y'all going to join different type of organizations that costs money as well because you have dues and a lot of stuff. Y'all going to want a new wardrobe that costs money. So homecoming, all that, all that. Y'all, y'all get what I'm trying to say. Y'all pick up, y'all pick up what I'm putting down. Okay. Okay. So my, I made this, I made the sound y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to make the sound, but I have made it just now. So my second talking point is housing. I wish somebody told me before I came to Howard about the housing situation. Ain't nobody told me nothing! Somebody go get her. Trust me, that would have probably altered my decisions, but everything happens for a reason and I'm here now housing after your sophomore year at howard university housing is not guaranteed so y'all should know that housing is not guaranteed after your sophomore year at howard because howard you know they accept a lot of freshmen and every year the number increases but we only have what towers East West, Drew, Cook, Annex, Quad, CHN, CHS. We only have seven, wait, I said seven. We only have eight dormitory systems out on our campus. And majority of those dorms are for freshmen only. The only upperclassmen dorms we have for sophomores are East and West. So note that housing is only guaranteed for your freshman and sophomore year. But if you are an athlete running track, football, basketball, you're in an org that, you know, needs you to be on campus like ROTC, ooh la la, all that, you're going to get housing. Like you get first priority housing. But that doesn't always, that's not always the case. So if you know you want to come to Howard, make sure y'all have secondary housing options already lined up already looking at apartments blah blah because i'm in that predicament right now or i was and y'all it is stressful i'm 20 years old just turned 20 and i'm over here paying rent that's not crazy to y'all i'm tore up already me and school me and school we tore up in here yeah but it's because i wanted to go to this hbcu 
they didn't really know anything about our housing situation and I did not get housing. I was not one of those fortunate upperclassmen that got housing. So you can apply to be an RA, but you got to understand and think about how many other people want to be an RA as well. The spots are limited. So have alternative apartments that you're looking for for your junior and senior year. It sucks, but that's the reality of it. Housing is not guaranteed for sophomores and I mean, not for sophomores. Housing is not guaranteed for juniors and seniors, so have that backup stuff. You know, when I found that out my freshman year, there was no YouTube video, so I'm trying to educate the youth that you guys have to have y'all backup housing. Like, I wish freshman year, you know, I told my mom, she said, we're going to cross that bridge when we get there. We was at the bridge two weeks ago, a month ago. The bridge, the bridge was actually collapsing, and I didn't know where I was about to live, but God came in, saved the day like he always does, and I found an apartment. Um, you know, YouTube video on my move-in going to be coming soon. Okay, I did want to touch a little bit more on the housing situation. It's also about who you know. Because I know some juniors and seniors that's like in my realm of people. They got housing because Howard is a connection school. It's, a, it's all about who you know. So if you know somebody that can get you housing, cool. Keep them connections open. Me, on the other hand, I knew people, but I didn't really tap into my resources. And that's not where God wanted me to be. So, hey. On to my third point, food options as a freshman. I wish people told me that the calf sucked. Like I lived in Annex my freshman year. Annex cafeteria was right next to my dorm. I did not like Annex. Like the only time I would eat in the cafeteria would be for Soul Food Thursday. There's seven days in a week. Where was I eating them six days? DoorDash. And it ran my pockets a lot. So, as a freshman, you know, y'all not living in towers, so y'all don't have, like, kitchens in y'all dorms and stuff like that. Please get an air fryer. They say don't get it, but get you an air fryer. And get, when you go grocery shopping, don't just get snacks because snacks gonna make you get fat. Get stuff that you can make in your air fryer. You know, chicken tenders, french fries, salmon, you know, if you being a little bougie, vegetables, you know, get solid stuff. And if you have to get stuff that you eat in the microwave, you know, you can get um, pizza rolls. You can get um, pizzas to eat, mac and cheese, the microwavable dinners. Do not solely rely on the calf. The calf is only good sometimes. And it sucks that they give you guys that 14 meal di um, dying package when it just goes to waste. To me, I'm not a picky eater, but I'm all about taste. And everything didn't really taste good eating in the calf, except for Soul Food Thursday. So it's a hit or miss. As a freshman, you know, y'all don't have a choice but to eat in the calf. But I'm just warning y'all. DoorDash is expensive and the food starts getting repetitive over after a while ordering DoorDash. So, you know, go grocery shopping and get the foods that y'all need, that y'all like to eat, if that makes sense. My fourth talking point is getting involved when you first get on campus. I didn't have the luxury of getting involved when I first got on campus because I was, unfortunately, the tester class coming out of the pandemic. I'm class, I'm H25. So we were the class that first got on, touched down on campus after the pandemic. We didn't have organization fair at Howard. Like we had to find out stuff, word of mouth, you know, flyers, blah, blah. People, incoming freshmen, people that wanna go to Howard, you guys are going to get an organization fair when y'all touch down in August, September. Yeah, August, September. Please go to organization fair. Please, I cannot stress this enough. It pays to be involved on campus. Howard is a networking school. It's all about who you know. Like these are the, the connections that you make at this school are going to be your lifelong connections. So make great ones. We have clubs and organizations for everything. Literally everything environmental fashion modeling medical everything literally like you can't there's something for everybody please get tapped in with the organizations i wish i did that my freshman year but i waited till sophomore year which you know is not too bad but i get do it when y'all first get there i promise you i'm not gonna steer y'all down the wrong path it pays to be involved when you first touch down on campus because you get to make those connections or connections could, you know, 
tap into your resources. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm putting down? Like, I would never try to steer y'all the wrong way. Tap into them connections when y'all get on campus and join organizations. There's organizations for everybody. My last talking point, talking point number five, be yourself. Coming to Howard, I didn't know how this school was going to be. Like, I always heard about, oh, Howard, this is like the number one HBCU in the country. Oh, Kamala Harris went to Howard, yada, yada, yada. But I didn't know. It's a different, it's a different, I don't even know the word I'm looking for, but it's different. And it's a good different, but it can be overwhelming at some points. That doesn't mean be somebody that you're not. You're going to get tested to see who you really are. You know, there's some people that actually, you know, come from a lot of money, are very rich. That don't mean that have to be you, though. You get what I'm saying? If you don't have money, you know, you're less fortunate, that's okay. You know, find your own style. Find who you are. Like, that's a part of going to college, being an adult. Don't copy what somebody else is doing. If you like thrifting, if you don't, if you like wearing, you know, baggy clothes, do that because that's your style. You need to tap into what you like to do, not what other people like to do. You have to find your sense of self. And that's what college is going to help you with. But I'm telling you before you guys get there to be authentic because people are going to have to like you for you, not you trying to be somebody else. You know, we see this all the time. You know, people always copy and fashion trends. Start your own trend. It's all about being a trendsetter nowadays. And Howard is that environment to do so. So I hope, you know, you guys enjoyed my video. You know, I can talk a little bit about my experience thus far at Howard. You know, I'm a junior. Okay, let me start with my Howard intro. Duh. Okay. My name is Anaya Johnson. I am a junior psychology major, biology minor from Atlanta, Georgia. And I love Howard. Howard was an amazing choice. It was, re I really wanted to go to FAMU, like Die Hard Rattler, but like I said, God stirred me down the path to become a bison for a reason. I feel like if I didn't go to Howard, I would not have this much knowledge and this much self-confidence to feel like I can do whatever I want to do in this world. Coming to Howard, I was I make connections that I don't feel like I would not get anywhere else. I met people that inspire me. Like this was one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. And I want y'all to make the right decision too and come to Howard. Like I'm evolving. I'm finding my sense of self. I'm having fun and I'm doing good too because I got a 4.0 last semester per 3.7 GPA L. And I'm just having a good time while learning. If you get what I'm saying, like, you know, there's distractions that happen, but you have to at the end of the day, you have to come and think, what did I really come here? Because there's going to be stuff that's going to try you, things that's going to distract you. But you have to at the end of the day, come to grips like, no, I came here for education. I came here to make my parents proud and do that and do you. So, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful, you know more college content coming soon because school is about to start back in three to four weeks in a month and yeah like comment subscribe subscribe to my channel y'all you know i'm trying to be you know in my content creator influencer era so love you guys bye kisses